Hi everybody, welcome to episode three of River Room Studios and welcome to my construction zone. There's a little, little progress made on uh, this space, which is going to be the Raku Kiln space. Still figuring out what to do with that area, but maybe um, a sawdust kiln as well. This is the electric kiln in there. This is my assistant number one and assistant number two. And uh, the floor, I painted the floor in here so it looks a little cleaner. Um, also, the, the, uh, the sink is new. That's going to be, there's gonna be a rain, rainwater barrel catcher uh, on the outside and that's what's gonna be the water source here. More on that uh, as that progresses. Uh, my assistant is um, busy with uh, security. She, she thinks she sees an intruder. So uh, she's helping out. <clears throat> and we have some, these are finally bisque fired. The, um, the marbling came out very nice. And uh, the blue marbling, that was uh, clay that uh, I added some color to. But um, I'll show you these when they're when they're glaze fired. Without further ado, here is episode three of River Room Studios. As a reminder, the music you'll hear part of the way through is a little song that I created, and um, you know all the songs that are going to be the background music are either something I will create or my friends create. So um, hopefully, that's a little little interesting twist for all of you and uh, enjoy. All right, second firing of the kiln. We're gonna see, I already peaked and uh, we have an unfortunate event. However, we're gonna see if the other ones survived. One of them exploded in the top. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see about the other ones. So here's the unfortunate, unfortunate thing. This kiln is still a little hot, <clears throat> so I'm going to use gloves. But I'm, see, <laughs> problems. This one came out okay. This is just the bisque firing. So <clears throat> I have the glaze firing after this. This is okay. Okay. Got a lot of extra room in there. Okay. Got? Okay. <clears throat> that didn't go so well. Yay! Survivor. We got a survivor. Little mug. Okay. We got survivor number two. A cool mug. So these will be glaze fired next. This is just bisque firing. Rachel made these. So they survived. And coaster. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Third one here. <clears throat> these are thermal couples. Thermal couples, they measure the temperature. There's another one down there. <clears throat> and you have to be very careful that you do not bump them. And there's, let's see. Okay. Not the best way to go about this, but let's see. Okay. These are actually a little heavy. Okay. That's gonna look good, glazed. And then we got oh, 
Mm. Okay. Live and learn. This one maybe, maybe can be salvaged or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> we are going to take these. All right, well, I suppose, got to start somewhere. Part of the problem with this one could have been that I didn't compress the bottom enough. When you make, make them, you're supposed to compress the bottom. And I maybe didn't do that enough, or there was still moisture, because it was kind of thick. If you have moisture in there, there you go. But, some of these will have some nice beverages in them. When these are done, oh, right. And then you're gonna see the finished product in a moment.
This flashlight. All right. So we did a glaze firing of those pieces that you saw. We're gonna open this for the, we just opened it for the first time. We saw the top of it. It looks pretty cool, one of them. Um, and we're gonna bring them in here. So, but it's still hot. It's, the kiln is still too hot. So I need these. We, we couldn't wait though. Okay. So the one that's, let me pull out one by one. This is your bowl. I think that's, I think that's really cool. Cool. I wonder how hot. Okay, I can touch it. Okay. Oh. I think that's beautiful. That oh. is really nice. You're gonna like that. Oh, it's cool. really interesting. Like what what ended up happening. I know. What are you okay. taking off? Oh, these sharp pieces. Pepper! That's, it is really interesting how it came out. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. So wait, and when you dipped it, the lip, it didn't, um, remember when you dipped it too deep? It didn't really mess it up. Whoa. Whoa. Um, remember when no, you- That's true. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Marbling. So cool. That is cool. It's really cool. I love how it pops, it's like so pink or red. Oh my God, look at that. This is some more marbling. That turned out cool. Yeah. It's a darker green than I thought. Yeah, totally. That's the clay color. And then we got one mug here. Hmm, neat. Oh, that's really cool. How did you do that? That's clay marbling. Oh, that's just the And clay. then I carved it. Oh, yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. All right, so let's carry these. There's, there's one more layer in there. Um, make sure, make sure. I'm going to come back and get the far layer. Dinner served. But they got a hole in the bottom. And so I tried to reglaze the bottom. But the problem is if you have glaze that sticks to your kiln shelves, this is the, the round things are your kiln kiln shelves. And if, if you have glaze that sticks to that, the piece is gonna stick. Then you have to either take a tool, an angle grinder, something along those lines to get your piece off of it. So you typically, if you get a hole in the bottom, you're not gonna put new glaze in it because if you fire it, you're gluing yourself to this and you're probably ruining it. So what I did was took some broken pieces of um, oh, okay, see? Okay, they came off. Hmm. So I reglazed that one. It says ramen, ramen. Um, but I got a hole in it. I did a coil method. You can see it here. Oh, you know what? I can still see through it. Okay. That one's still, that one's going to be a key holder. 
<laughs> this one. Okay, those came off. So we'll see. That one, see, it's, it came out so cool. Yeah. And I want to keep it. But it might be a key holder. What else could this be? <laughs> Cotton balls. Cotton balls. <laughs> See, I put this under it to try to protect it from it. And then, okay, this one, this one should be. Oh, that was the other one you used to do the slip. Right. You were doing the slip with it. Yeah, neat. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. It's different. Okay. That last kiln shelf later. 